Hello, this is going to be a little video on the TVs that come with your Scamp travel trailer. In the last video, somebody asked a question on how they're installed. So I will show you how they have them installed in the camper and what it looks like. So, enjoy. And they do come with a cable connection in case you are someplace that has cable. This is the antenna that is install, installed on the top of the camper. You just you turn it this way to find the best reception you can. And we actually get really good reception with this thing. At times, if we're watching regular TV in the house, we have a digital antenna and it isn't coming in good enough. We will come out here and watch what we were watching and it comes in really good. Okay. So let's take a look at the back of this thing. That there is the, that's where you turn it on, or the antenna, you hit that little black button. It disconnects from the antenna or turns the antenna off. If the green light's on, you are ready to watch TV. They have it in here, in ours anyway, they have it connected to the corner there. And each one of those arms, they swivel, so you can adjust it however you want, which I will show you right now. Easily, easily adjust to however you want it. And it folds up nice and flat against the wall, out of the way when you're eating. And it does have a built-in DVD player, which we've, we've watched our fair share of DVDs in here. If you're camping, it's late at night, or the weather is pretty bad. Sit in. If you don't want to watch some regular TV or program, just pop in a movie. And the back of it, you have the various connections that you need for whatever you may need them for. These two here, this is, we have Roku attached to ours and that's what those two that's what those two plugs are and if you do get one of these that might be a nice thing to have because as long as you have some sort of wi-fi connection or if not use your mobile hotspot on your phone and you can go ahead and watch your youtube or whatever it is you want to watch and again with this button if i'll show you Turn it off there. And you notice the antenna is no longer lit up. And what you might want to do at night because this thing actually puts out quite a bit of light when it's dark. Those blue bars, they may be a distraction. Hit the switch. And the antenna is lit back up. And that is the remote that comes with it. However, this little one is the one that we usually use because this is the Roku remote. It also has all the buttons you need on the top of the TV in case the batteries are out in your remote. And with it being March, obviously there's a lot of basketball on both college and high school, which is what this is. But here's all the different input sources. This one here will just say HDMI if you don't have a Roku attached to it. But that is just, let's take a look at what we have on this thing. Again, it's, it's not a smart TV, this is our Roku. YouTube, you can't go wrong with that, so let's take a peek at YouTube. Oh, let's see. Let's take a look at this one here. Oh, Dennis and Amy, Our Life. I bet you they have a lot of pretty cool videos on here. 
So with that being said, do us a favor and check some of them out. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And we will see you next time.